The Helium blockchain being halted not once, but twice over the last week has been one of the most eye-opening technical shortfalls the Helium network has experienced in recent years. Although it may appear as a major setback at first, once an event like this has been remedied, there is always critical lessons that can be learned. With the pace that Helium is growing, it is almost expected to run into roadblocks like this one. We can look to the recent Instagram blackout as an example of very large, very successful companies still running into major issues. This is just the reality for companies that operate at such scale. The important thing is that we learn from it and make sure we implement fail safes to protect the network from such failure moving forward. In today's video, we will go through some of the dialogue Helium has released regarding the challenges that it had to face and ultimately overcome. We will also take a look at some of the major performance updates for the Helium app. <music> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. If you enjoy content like this, please make sure to hit the like button and if you have not already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It is the best way to support the channel and I would really, really appreciate it. In today's video, we are going to be talking about both the haltings of the Helium blockchain, both the more significant one that happened about a week ago and the more recent one that happened yesterday. As you can see here on the status updates, this was the large one that lasted over 24 hours. And then we had a shorter one here that lasted a few hours that is much less known than the original. However, both of these were significant. And as we can see here, we will go through this in detail. However, both of these outages were both caused by blocks that were initially formed before any of the fixes were applied. We will go through the details that they outline here. We'll also take a look at their post on Twitter. And lastly, we will take a look at the most recent updates to the iOS and Android Helium app versions. These are critical updates that were made to the app and I was experiencing significant issues with my app and I have been noticing better performance and I think it is a result of some of these updates, which is awesome. So guys, as we can see here, this was the larger outage that lasted over 24 hours. We did go back online for a day or two and then we did experience another major outage that lasted about seven hours. Again, this outage was also due to a similar situation. It was a very large block that could not be agreed upon on the blockchain. This is the statement that Helium released on their Discord yesterday. We're gonna take a look at this, but before we jump into this, I wanna to touch on four quick things that I want to point out with regards to the Helium network in general, some of these issues that we've been having, and what all of this means moving forward. Firstly, I wanna say, as I mentioned in the intro, growing pains are to be expected with a company and a network that is growing at such scale. As we can see from this article here, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this, even companies like Instagram and Facebook have significant and major outages that do happen. It is very hard to operate this level of technology without having issues that do interrupt the service that is being provided. So to look at Helium and say that it is a that this sort of is a failure that the Helium blockchain or the Helium network does not work is is a ridiculous thing to say. Of course the developers will learn from this. They will implement the changes and fail safes moving forward and this is just part of the learning process, the learning curve and the growing curve. It is also very important that we experience these types of outages early on in in the Helium growth cycle. It is much better to experience these issues when we have 300,000 hotspots on the network rather than two and a half million or four million hotspots on the network with 5G data being transferred and so forth. It is good that it's happening now. We can learn from these mistakes early on and make sure that we have a very robust network as we scale larger. Secondly, I do wanna point out something here that they mentioned that we will go through this, but they point out that last week's and this week's outages resulted from large size blocks that hotspots and validators could not agree upon and I ingest into the chain. This right here, of course, is a problem because we weren't able to get past those blocks without the updates. However, it is proving that the Helium blockchain is working with integrity and is working properly because it would be an even a, a much larger problem if the blockchain was able to move through this block without agreeing upon the data and having it duplicated in multiple areas. The fact that it had to be halted because there couldn't be agreement amongst all of the validators is actually a good thing 
for the network and people that are looking to judge the integrity of the Helium network, this is something that you could point to and say, the blockchain is clearly working properly and the integrity of the data is extremely strong. Thirdly, I do wanna point out that I don't think it's really noticed I don't think it's really mentioned very often. However, the importance of being a validator, I believe has been gone unnoticed until this point. The validator operators are such a huge and critical part of the Helium community and the Helium blockchain. I know that a lot of people think like, oh, if you just have a bunch of HNT, you just sign up to be a validator and make a ton of money. I mean, that couldn't be more far from the truth. These are extremely technical validators that are being set up and operated and, and know how to react to these updates and these different versions of the blockchain that have to be downloaded and implemented. It is critical that these validators operate in a time sensitive fashion and know what they're doing and are always here to make sure that they can implement any changes that are needed. I think that is highlighted here where it says thank you to these different operators on the blockchain, one of them being the validator operators. And fourthly guys, if you can't tell by this post here, the Helium status posts that go on on a regular basis here, this engineering blog, blockchain release, and this post here on Twitter, I think that the transparency that Helium has with the community is one of the most critical pieces of this entire project and network. It is huge that the transparency is so high and it makes this network work so much better than others where the information is guarded for certain individuals or certain groups of people. It is very difficult to have such transparency with such a large network, but I think Helium does a wonderful job of keeping everybody in the loop. All right, guys, let's take a look at what they really say here. I'm gonna highlight some of the important things that they mention. Of course, they mentioned this week, the Helium network was severely tested. The core developers in Helium community have worked together to address multiple challenges that have resulted from its unprecedented growth. First, big thanks to everyone for their contributions and their patience through the past week. A core strength of this network is that it's built by the people, hotspot owners, op validator operators, device owners, developers, manufacturers, and mods make the network resilient. Secondly, during these challenges, HNT was always safe, and while there were disruptions, data transfers were largely unaffected. Robust data transfer was designed into the Helium network from day one and will be continuously improved and updated by the core developers and the community. Both last week's and this week's outages resulted from large-sized blocks that hotspots and validators could not agree upon and ingest into the chain. These blocks were filled with transactions from faulty state channels that process data transfer packets for discovery mode. This week's second large block made up of remaining discovery mode state channels had already formed before the fixes were applied. Helium app developers have since decided to disable discovery mode until further notice. The community and HIP19 process has approved a variety of hotspot vendors, all of which provide diversity and resilience to the network. These full blockchain nodes are affected differently by software updates and organic network expansion to 300,000 nodes and beyond. These early days of building the network are challenging. We have learned a lot very quickly over the last two years and have made significant enhancements to ensure all continues to run smoothly and make for a stronger and more resilient network for the next several decades. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful, well said post from Helium. I think this really speaks volumes about the direction Helium is heading, being able to address these types of major, major problems, outline them eloquently and really learn from them is something that I think is really unique to the Helium network. And I think it is a reason why the Helium network is really going to do so well in the future. Now, Helium did have a smaller thread here on Twitter, which basically said the same thing as the Discord announcement, just with fewer words. Of course, they thanked everyone, all the participants that are needed to learn and adapt to something like this. They do mention the different challenges and how HNT was always safe during the disruptions, especially data transfers was largely unaffected. And they do mention both of the outages here on Twitter as well. Again, the transparency of something like this out there on Twitter is really, really great to see. Of course, there were some people here that were commenting about how they were not happy about everything that's been happening. And you can see here, Amir Halim is actually out here commenting on these sorts of things. 
and trying to give more input and insight into what has really been going on with Helium. Now guys, amongst all of this, amongst all of the halts of all the updates to validators and stuff like that, there also has been a major app update release that has been available for now for a few days. So make sure to update your app on your phone. There are some major changes here that really affect the performance of the app that I already have noticed. I think the biggest update is the 24 hour hotspot rewards. It is no longer an operation that you continuously refresh your app and it will pull in the last 24 hours of earnings. It is now based on UTC calendar day and not a rolling 24 hour window. The impetus behind this change is to reduce the number of queries to the API to calculate this value. This will really, really lower the load off of the API. This is gonna be a huge upgrade of performance for the app. We can also see here the app will now catch transactions data to reduce the number of calls it needs to make to the API on app launch. This again will increase the speed and performance of the app. The earning chart will also have a difference now that there's no longer a rolling 24 hour window. The new default chart for hotspots has changed from 14 day to 24 hour. The chart also displays bucketed earnings in a UTC calendar day and no longer a rolling 24 hour window. The 14 day and 30 day charts are also updated to UTC calendar days. There are other improvements down here, as you can see, that are more specified, that are more specific to antenna setups and antenna settings, which is very good because those are becoming more of a critical part of the Helium network. So guys, let me know how you feel about all of these updates. If you appreciate the transparency, if you're happy that this is happening sooner rather than later, let me know down below. I think there's a lot of silver linings here with regards to these outages. But as always, thank you all so much for being here, so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already, but just like that, this video is over and I'll see you next time.